Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how can you install Red Hat Linux and also at the end of this video solve the problem of subscription manager with some email addresses. Before installation don't forget to register on redhat.com and activate your account. I have a video on my channel that show you how can you register and activate your subscription. That's free. Download Red Hat 9 ISO file and boot the machine from this ISO. You can find the download link in the comment. I am using Visual Machine. Start this VM. Select Install Red Hat Enterprise Linux and press Enter. Select your preferred language which will be using during OS installation. I am using English. Click on continue. As you can see, we must first complete mandatory items before initiating the installation. To configure partition on the disk, click on install destination. Select the disk on which OS will be installed and then choose either automatic or custom from storage configuration. Click on done. To change time zone, click on time and date and then choose the location, click on done. To install the preferred software during the installation, click on software selection, choose the best environment for your system. In my case, I am using with minimal install. Also you can add some package to these options as you can see here. Now I am going to set the IP address and host name on this server. By default server use a DHCP to get this information. Click on configure. From the IPv4 tab, select manual as method. Click on add and write IP subnet mask and gateway. Finally, give the DNS server IP addresses. Save change. Here you can write the host name of your server. And click apply to save change. Done. Now only user settings item is pending. Click on root password to set the password for a root user. Don't forget to check allow root SSH login with password. This option allows to login with SSH to this server. Click on done. Now click on begin installation to start the installation. At this step, Red Hat 9 installation is started and is in progress. Once the installation is completed, the installer will instruct to reboot the system. Click on reboot system. Login with the root account. Check the host name and IP addresses. Test DNS servers. Check internet connectivity with ping. With clear command, you can clear the screen.
I run put it to connect to this server through SSH. Write the IP address of server. Write root as a username and password. Again, check the host name. I am trying to install nano package by you, but as you can see, we got the system is not registered with an entitlement server. I am using subscription dash manager with register option to register this server. Give the email address and password of my redhat.com account. I'm sure I give the right credential, but we got an invalid username and password error. To solve this problem, log in to developers.redhat.com. Because I'm already logged in, click on logout to log out from the portal. Try it again. Okay, I'm logged out. Now try to log in again. As you can see, this is my email address. I can log in to the portal but cannot register my server to developers.redhat.com. Click on user profile. Subscription management link is here. Going to account details. Click on logins and password. As you can see here, we have a red hat login information. In some cases, when you are using an email address to register your server, got the error. If instead of email address, use your Red Hat login name, the problem will be solved. Run subscription manager with register option again. And this time, instead of my email address, I use Red Hat login name with my password. Okay, my server registered successfully. Going to Red Hat portal and click on subscription. From system menu, click on view all systems. In this list, you can see the host name of my server. Try to install nano. Again, we got the error because we don't assign any subscription to this server. Click on host name. From the subscription tab, Click on run auto attach. Successfully assign subscription to this server. With subscription dash manager repos option, we can refresh and view all the repositories used on this server. Sorry, that's repos, not repo.
Also, with the list option, you can check the status of subscription on this server. As you can see, my server subscribed and you can see the start and end date. Now you can install any package by using a Yum from the internet. At the Red Hat portal, you can also check the subscription status. I hope this video can improve your knowledge of Linux administration. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you have any problem, write on the comments. I will help you to solve your problems. Have a good day. Bye bye.